In this video, we're going to take a look at what's new in Shoemaker 2015. The next new feature we're going to take a look at allows a user to create custom accessories and add them to your own libraries. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the Manage Libraries icon. I'm then going to go to Add and I'm going to say My Library. Okay, so once I've done this, I'm going to select Save and OK. And you can see now my library has been added and it is completely blank and ready for me to start adding accessories to it. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the design accessories icon. So this is now located in the uh, create accessory curve flyout. So once I've selected this, I go to the create mode. So you can see here I have a uh, wireframe creation. And if I just go to the piece icon, I also have some different shapes that I'm also able to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a very quick spike accessory. So I'm going to create a cone. I'm then going to uh, grab the cone and I'm just going to edit it, so I'm going to change the length slightly and I'm going to just change the uh, the top radius down so it's more, more spike-like. Okay, so again I'm also just going to change the bottom as well, just so it's just got a smaller radius. Okay, so let me just zoom in and make sure this is as thin as I can get it. I'm then going to right-click to exit the mode. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the colour, so I'm just going to go to my samples library and I'm just going to give it a metal colour. Uh, so I'm just going to go for that one there, yeah that's nice. Okay, so once I've done this I'm going to go to the green tick. I'm then going to give this a name, so I'm going to go for spike. I'm going to give it a category, so I'm going to call this just buttons. And I'm going to give it an attachment handle, so we'll just go down here, there is my attachment handle, so this is how um, the spike will lay against the last. So once I've done that, I'm going to go apply and I'm going to say dismiss. I'm now going to um, close and cancel this by selecting the cross here, which is a new icon. I'm going to say I want to um, keep the unfinished changes, so I'm going to say yes. Okay, so once I've done that, you can see my spike has been added to my library, and once I just select on it, I can drag it into the um, to the window and you can see it's quite large but obviously I could have made this smaller when I created it but I can also use the tools within Shoemaker to change the size and edit this as well. Okay so if I want to uh, get rid of the spike out of my library all I need to do is just right click on it and I can say delete and it will be instantly removed from the library.